What's up, guys? Uh, I'm back. I just wanted to talk a little bit about uh, some of the information or video clips that have been released since I did the last video, uh, since which was the prediction video. Uh, also, Jeff Fabiano just released a video showing the uh, some more gameplay and, and uh, features from the game. So I'm going to talk a little bit about that. And um, let's just get on with it. So basically... Um, the game still looks really good to me. Uh, visually, I don't really know what people are expecting. This game looks pretty good to me. There is more of an improvement graphically than I was expecting. You know, so they really put in the work. And you can see uh, a lot of uh, cool details that weren't there before. Now, I, I'm expecting somebody at some point to do like a comparison Maybe one of those split screen uh, NASCAR Heat 2, NASCAR Heat 3 comparisons. Maybe they could show the same type of track and everything. Uh, try to do that, you know. Or maybe a back and forth, like they'll just switch from NASCAR Heat 2 to NASCAR Heat 3. Again, showing like the same uh, track and, and uh, stuff like that. So you really get a sense of how the game looks better. Uh, I would think somebody w would do that before the game comes out, but that's just me. You know, um, I'm hoping somebody does it because I do think people should really take a second look. Uh, the game looks really good to me. I don't know what people are expecting, but that's just my opinion. Obviously, people can, they're still going to have their own opinion, and if they think the game looks bad, you know, that's on them. I, I don't know what to say, but for me, I'm really happy with. The graphics, I gotta be honest, it looks pretty good. Now, talking about Jeff Fabiano's uh, video, um, I saw a couple of really cool things that I didn't really notice before uh, in relation to, again, talking about sort of like the graphics or the particle effects, a couple of other things like um, the damage model is definitely improved. It looks pretty damn good. I, I'll be honest with you guys. Uh, also, uh, a couple of times when he was racing, he was purposely hitting the AI just to show how the collision uh, physics were changed. I'm really happy with the physics, uh, at least from what I see so far. You know, some things you won't know till you actually play the game, but I'm really happy. I do see an improvement. And the collision uh, physics are definitely improved. You can sort of, you don't got that ping pong effect that, as Faviana was calling it, uh, you really, your car stay, remains kind of stable. You can make some contact. Uh, but if you hit the AI hard enough or, you know, realistically, they do spin out. And another cool thing I noticed about the AI is even under practice, a couple of guys spun out on their own. Um, I love seeing stuff like that, and I think we need more of that in the game. Uh, the AI, the the, set, the sense of awareness definitely seems to be improved. There were a couple of times where uh, Faviano spun out, and some of the cars did avoid him. You know, sometimes they didn't, you know, uh, when the caution flag came out. So it's not going to be perfect. You know, this is still a, a, something that's improving and improving, and there are going to be issues. Uh, in all aspects of the game. And as long as they keep pushing to improve those things, I'm okay. Um, there's nothing game-breaking. Uh, th this stuff, you know, some stuff may be a little annoying, a little this, a little of that. Uh, the sound, I'm happy with it. You know, I'm not satisfied that, okay, it's perfect. Of course not. It still needs work, especially the lower RPMs and stuff. But it's way better than it sounded before. Um... Another thing, the particle effects, like a couple of times when cars got into each other, th the physics do look a lot better, especially when these cars are spinning around or hitting each other and there's a collision. Um, it looks more realistic. The smoke effects are really good. I noticed that really stood out to me, and I really noticed it with this latest video. There was a lot of spots where cars were like... Uh, brake checking or like in the midst of, of colliding with each other and you were getting very realistic smoke effects 
Uh, it wasn't overdone. It looked realistic for me. Uh, I'm really happy with that stuff. All when, those are the little details that stick out. That I'm, I'm really happy. You could see so many areas in this game where 704 is definitely going in and, and taking care of finer details. I'm really happy with what I see. I have not been this excited about a NASCAR game in a very, very long time. Um, and it, it really is looking like it's the real deal. Like this thing is really going to be a very, very good game. The, uh, the AI, the difficulty when it's tuned up, um, it does look like it's going to be a challenge. And that to me is probably at, at the top of the list. If that's challenging, and, and that's going to make the biggest difference in the game. I really like everything I'm seeing. Um, I don't know what to tell you guys. I, I really did go back. I looked. I'm trying to find things to, to criticize, and I can't really find anything major. Of course, everything can be made better. There's nothing in the game that looks perfect. There's no such thing as perfection, but really look at the, the NASCAR games we've had throughout the past 10 years, let's say. This looks better than anything we've seen. And yes, we haven't played the game yet. And it's possible there are things that will pop up that may be a concern. But just from what I've seen so far, this is way better, even than last year. So... I like what I see. I can't wait to play this game. It's right around the corner. And um, one more thing, he did a pit stop. That's the one thing we haven't seen is green flag pit stops by the AI and the pit strategy. That still remains to be seen, what it is. But you're not going to know till you play an actual longer length race with stage racing, with the AI tuned up, um, and, you know, the tire wear and the gas you know, maybe at three times where um, Fabiano did mention again that yes, they did work on it and what it, how it's supposed to be, but he wasn't able to really show that. So he says he's going to do another video eventually and it'll be a longer, more, more uh, in-tune race where you can see that stuff. So I look forward to that. Um, he did a really good job showcasing what's there and talking about it. So I, I, I think he did a really good job. Um, and back to the pit stop, the pit stop animation, it did seem smoother and, and just a little quicker. Now, yes, if you take a stopwatch, you may find that the pit stops are still a couple seconds slower. I don't care about stuff like that. I'm going to tell you why. If it's even for everyone, it shouldn't be that big of an issue. We're talking about a couple seconds. And... It's not like your pit stop is two or three seconds slower than the rest of the field. Everyone's on the same even playing field. To me, that's not that big a deal. Is it something they should address eventually? Yeah, sure. I But it looks pretty good to me. And I'm sure somebody will time it and see how long it took and and that it's, it's not realistic to real life. You know, some things just aren't as important. In my opinion, as long as it looks good, it's smooth, um, I'm okay with it. I like everything I've seen. So, you know, I'm sorry. I haven't really found anything to complain about yet. Once I play the game and put some time into it, you know, if anything st sticks out, I will, I promise, I will criticize. But I'm not going to just criticize for the sake of criticizing we should all be very excited. I mean, really, if you're not excited about this game, I really don't know if anything can. it's going to make you happy. If you're that guy, you know, if you look at the graphics and you're that guy who says, oh, this thing looks like crap or it looks outdated, I don't know what you're looking at. You know, I'll admit, uh, maybe my standards aren't the highest when it comes to things like that. Uh, I, I'm not a PC gamer. I'm not somebody that really has played games that are really focused on graphics, maybe those people, to them, this is a downgrade. I don't see it as a downgrade. It, this thing looks as good as any NASCAR game I've ever seen. 
So I'm really happy with it. And it actually looks better than I had previously thought that it would. I didn't really think it, they would be able to focus that much on detail and graphical fidelity. Uh, it looks pretty damn good. So that's how I feel about it. I can't wait to play it. Um, what I'm planning to do, I do want to do some gameplay videos. Uh, but I'm, I'm still not sure how I'm going to do it. The thing is that most people that do gameplay videos, they run short races or shorter than I do. I'm, I get the most out of the game by playing 50% or 100% races. I think that is closer to a real NASCAR experience because the, the you know it's more of a marathon a lot more things can happen uh, if this AI is as challenging as it looks longer races are going to be that much more enjoyable because you will be able to soak in every single lap and and just making that uh, progress just a little bit at a time that for me is the most enjoyable aspect of racing where lap after lap you're just making up just a little more on the person in front of you or whoever you're trying to catch and that is for me the magic of racing that's when it's fun it's just not fun blowing by three or four cars a lap and or running these short races and and you can get from from the back all the way to the top 10 you know if, if this thing really is challenging these longer races are going to be that much more fun. You're going to have more chances to, to work on the car, to strategize. That is what NASCAR is about. And I, I, that's what I want to remind people. You know, when you, when you see a race or someone playing these games and it's just a short, uh, you know, whatever it is, uh, 25%, it's just a condensed version of what NASCAR is. It, and you're missing out on a lot. So, you know, I got to figure out if, you know, when I do a gameplay video, uh, the, the best way to probably do it would be a 25% race. It's, but it, I do believe that it throws things off and you don't get the, the same immersion that you would get with a much longer race. So I got to figure that out. But I, I guess I'm just going to do 25% races you know like everyone else and see what it is um when i first get the game it's going to take some time to really get the feel of it and you know i'm going to play this thing balls to the wall it's just i'm going to have it at the highest difficulty and whatever it is it is um but i might play a lot of single races first because what i really want to see and the best way to test out how challenging is this game going to really be is is to do single races instead of the career mode and run like a 50% race and do a bunch of different tracks and then take just jump into a top level ride because you want to see how competitive is this game going to be when you're in the top ride that is to me the biggest key because of course, when you're in the career mode and you're trying to build yourself and work your way up, it's probably even going to be overwhelming in terms of how competitive it is. But it also gives you, an, you know, you want to know really what, when I finally am at the top of my game and I got a top level car, how difficult is the AI going to be then? So I want to find that out kind of right away. You know, I'm going to do a bunch of, uh, just single races get the feel of the the car because every game that comes out it always feels slightly different and they they have messed around with the physics and all that stuff and the handling so i got to get a good feel of it and then you know do a, a bunch of races uh you know at some tracks that i felt were too way too easy last year you know chicago was pretty much it, I would probably put that at the top as one of the most as the easiest races for me uh, so I'm, I'm definitely gonna check that out probably first on a single player race highest difficulty setting and then see you know how that feels and then I'll do a bunch of other races that I'm comfortable with and then once I know 
what this AI really is in terms of difficulty because I'll be using the top level cars and then I get a good sense of that then I, I'll go start the career mode basically I, I might just spend one day doing the single player races and get that on you know just get a, the feel of it and then probably the next day I'll just start the career mode and then I'll see what that's like but I think I really think it's important for me to first find out when I'm in a top level ride and I really got a good feel of, of the game of how it, the, the physics and, and the handling are and race and, and really try hard against the AI and, and and go through the long race and see what that pit strategy is like that's going to tell me a lot more about the actual racing side of the game and then I can go do the career mode where I can kind of soak in the immersion of the career mode and and, and uh, working my way up and then owning a team and stuff like that so it'll take me a, a, I would say probably two weeks I'll do a review and I'm assuming most of you are going to have the game by that time anyway but just in case if you are interested in, in my review it, it'll be out but I can't honestly do a review I don't think quicker than two weeks because I have a hectic work schedule you know I got other things going on so it's not like I can dedicate a lot of time just condense it into a couple days so that's how it's going to be um so before I go, I want to know what you guys think uh, all uh, of, of Fabiano's latest video. If you checked it out, if not, check it out. Also about the things I've said about what this game looks like and what it's shaping up to be. And lastly, you know, as far as gameplay videos, uh, what are you interested in me doing? Um, I don't want to just... I'd, ra I, I'd rather show you the experience from my playing style which like I said it would probably be at about a 50% race the last thing is I'm not sure I can do 50% races because uh, I did the other day I tried to do a 50% race and the recording on the PS4 it maxes out at an hour and the thing stopped the recording actually before I was finished with the race and I don't want that to happen. So I'm, I'm thinking that my gameplay videos may end up being at 25% unless I can figure something else out. But in either case, let me know what you think. Let me know what you're interested in seeing. If you're interested at all, you know, if, if not, you know, I'm not going to... I don't want to start trying to post stuff that people just aren't interested in. Um, so that's pretty much it. And I'll see you guys around if there's new information. Um, so let's see what happens. I, I can't wait for this game. So I look forward to your comments.